All right. Well, we've got Trig Lecture 217 to 18. Student will find the length of an arc intercepted by a central angle, given theta in radians or degrees, and find the area of a given sector given the same. So what we're going to be messing with is a central angle that's defined as an angle that has its vertex on the center of a circle, and it intercepts an arc that we call S, oftentimes. R stands for the radius, theta is the angle how, you know, th this thing is open to, it might be, that looks like maybe 60 or so, or, uh, so forth and so on. The arc length, the length of this arc is R theta, as long as theta is in radians. So if you are given degrees and ask for the length of an arc, you want to change it to radians. Okay. And then use this formula. The length of the arc, S, is equal to R, the length of the radius, times the measure of the central angle, theta, in radians. Okay, so let's take a look at our point. Well, here's an area of a sector as well. The area of a sector, it doesn't matter whether it's the theta is in radians or degrees. If it's in radians, oh, I'm sorry, if it's in degrees, it'll be whatever that angle is over 360. It's a fraction of the full rotation. Theta over 360 times pi r squared, so it's a fraction of the full area of the circle. Or if it's in radians, it's zero over two pi, which two pi is 360 degrees. That should be degrees, by the way. Uh, so it'd be a fraction of the rotation, if this is in radians, these theta over two pi times the full area of the circle, pi r squared. Theta can be in degrees or radians, it doesn't matter. If it's in degrees, we use this. If it's in radians, we use that. Here we go. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Find the length of the indicated arc. Well, I've got S is equal to R theta that I'm working with. S is equal to R is 19 miles. Theta is not given to me in radians. And if, for the arc length formula, theta must be in radians. So I'm going to convert 150 degrees to radians real quick. Uh, these will cancel. You can think of that as being over 1. 15 over 8, they'll both divide by 3, so that'll be 5 pi over 6. Is that right? So this is 5 pi over 6 radians. That's the same as if I haven't made a mistake. And so it would be uh, r is 19 times 5 pi over 6. We use our calculator and don't say what to round it to. It does not. So we'll round it to something reasonable. Okay. And we're looking for the length of this arc. This is the arc we're talking about right now. They give us this angle. So this is the arc we're talking about. Okay. We want to know how long would this be if I snipped it here and here and straightened it out. Here we go, 5 pi over 6. Where's my pi button? There it is. 5 times pi divided by 6 and times 19. 49.74. So that's the length of this arc. Arc is, let me scroll just a little bit, I don't want to hurt myself, hurt my back. Approximately 49.74. I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth, I just chose that randomly because it didn't say what to round to. Miles. And now I'll check my answer and see if I got it right. My board is not going to not going to work with me today. Do -do -do, do -do -do, I'm looking at the wrong answer sheet. It says 95 pi over six. I want it rounded. 
95 times pi. Actually, that's, th this right here, 19 times 5 is 95. That is 95 pi over 6. And if we were to round it, because 19 times 5, you can put a 1 under that. 19 times 5 is 95 pi. 1 times 6 is 6. And that would be miles. And if you rounded it, it would be this. Okay. So in my next one, I'll make sure that I simplify it in terms of pi or whatever, and then give an approximation. Just in case the worksheet asks you for an approximation, you would go 95 times pi divided by 6 equals, and hopefully, let's see if I get the same thing if I do it again. 95 times pi divided by 6 equals. 49.74, yeah, so that's probably right. I got the same thing twice. This is what the answer key, key gave us. They didn't round it to anything, so how weird is that? Pretty weird back then, but I should have looked at it before I started. Okay, here we go. We have another one. This time it's already in radians, 2 pi over 3 radians. The gives us the radius. So I'm going to say, well, uh, the length of this arc is what I'm looking for. S is equal to R theta. So S is equal to R is 16 inches. Theta is 2 pi over 3. You can think of this as being over 1 and go 16 times 2. That would be 32 pi over 1 times 3 is 3. Uh, I'm guessing that's where this won't reduce. That's where the uh, answer key is going to leave it. This will be in inches. But I'm going to go ahead and, and just in case the key in the book or your choices, the multiple choices on the worksheet are rounded, I'm going to go ahead and round that. You just go 32 times pi divided by 3. Uh, 32 times pi. Shift exponent and times by divided by three, divided by three equals. I get 33.51 approximately. And that would be inches. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna do that one more time. 32 pi divided by three. 33.5. Okay, yeah, so that's probably correct. Rounding to the nearest hundredth. Uh, let's see if that's correct. It says 32 pi over 3 inches. Yay! It's weird that they didn't round it. Because when you think 32 pi over 3 inches, how many inches is that? It's easier to think of inches like that. It's about 33 feet, about that long. I find the area of a sector. Well, what I want to do is find a fraction of the entire area of the surface. So my fraction here is going to be 45 three hundred and of the area of this whole circle. The area of the whole circle will be pi r squared, pi times 12 squared. So that's 100. 44 times pi times 45, you can think of these as being under 1 or over 1 if you want to. So it's this times this times this over 360 times 1 times 1. So it would be 144 times pi times 45 equals and then divided by 360. And that will give us the area of this sector. So the area will be approximately whatever this happens to be. So let's see what we get. 45 degrees over 360. That's a fraction of the rotation or all the way around the circle. 45 divided by 360 times pi times 144 over 12 squared. I'm going to go 144. Equals 56.55. And that will be in square kilometers. And let's
let's see what the answer key says. I wonder if it rounded these. It didn't. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... How strange is that? I'm thinking that's correct, but we'll go ahead and do what they do. Uh, they went like this, 45 times pi times 144. That's 12. Mm -hmm. Multiply that times that times that. Over 360, and then they just reduced it. And I said, well, I can see that both of these will divide by 45. So this will divide by 45, turns into a 1, that turns into an 8. These will both divide by at least 4. Yeah, they'll both divide by, that'll give me pi times 36 over 2. That's 18 pi, is that right? 144 divided by 8. Yeah, this will give me 18 pi. Kilometers. Let's see what 18 times pi is. 18 times pi is 56.5. Hey, so that's correct. So this 18.5, I don't know why they didn't change up the decimals. That's so weird. It's the kilometers squared. Which is about 56.55 square kilometers. Okay? That's just bizarre. Why they do that, we may never know. They can't, they, they multiplied it all together, they reduced the fraction, and then they didn't convert it to decimal. You know, they didn't round it. They just said 18 pi kilometers squared. That's the area of that circle. Let's take a look at this one. The area. It is 3 pi over 2 over 2 pi. So it's the rotation over 2 pi times the area of the circle, which is pi times r squared, which is 169. 13 squared is 169. So what I did was I used this formula. Fit over 2 pi times pi r squared. Fit it was 3 pi over 2 over 2 pi times pi r squared, 13 times 13. And now I'm going to do what they did, and I'm going to leave it in that form. And to simplify this complex fraction, I'm going to think of this as over 1. So this will be area is 3 pi over 2. Times, I'm going to invert and multiply, 1 over 2 pi, times pi over 1, times 60, 169 over 1. So I inverted and multiplied the bottom. And now I'm going to just start canceling stuff, and whatever's left after I get done canceling will hopefully be my answer unless I made a mistake. Uh, 3 won't cancel with anything, neither will the 169. So this is going to be 3 times 169, whatever that is. Five hundred seven. Three times one sixty-nine. These pies will cancel. Two times two times one times one is four. And this pie did not cancel. So it's 507 fourths pi, or you could call it 507 pi over 4. You can stick it out to the side like that, or you can put it in the numerator. And that just feels so wrong, but let's see what they got here. I don't believe it. 507 pi over 4. I've never had a worksheet ask me to leave it like that. If you got this far, Actually, you can just put this all into your calculator. Don't forget to invert and multiply. And then just go this times this times this times this equals divided by this. 
and you'll get whatever you get if you go 507 times pi divided by 4 and round it. And I really don't know if, it's, if the worksheets round it, round it or not. Uh, 507 times pi divided by 4. 398.2-ish. And that would be kilometers squared, square kilometers. Okay. Yeah, so we had 18 pi square kilometers, which was about this. We had 507 fourths pi. That's the weirdest way to leave it. Or approximately 398.2. You can do this. Remember how to work with complex fractions. This was over 2 pi, so I said, well, the easiest way to do that is just put a 1 under it and bring this down, invert and multiply this, brought this down as pi over 1, brought this down, and just started canceling and wound up with this. Okay? You can do this. 